Hello everyone, welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. So today's video is going to be a little bit different as you guys can see. Um, I have The Sims 4 open and I decided that today I would build my future classroom in The Sims 4 so that I could kind of like plan the layout of the room and sort of like get ready and start getting my creative juices flowing for getting my classroom for next year set up. So. As you guys know, I am moving districts, I'm moving cities, and I'm going to be coming to a brand new school. And so I felt really inspired. I was actually texting my dear friend Jennifer from Genuine Teaching this morning, and she was like, we need to like work on our classrooms together because even though we're not working at the same school next year, we're gonna be living within like 20 minutes of each other and our schools are only like 25 minutes apart. And I'm like, yes, I love classroom setup, so yes, I wanna help her set hers up, she's gonna help set mine up. And so I got sort of like thinking about how I might set my classroom up. Um, and so what I've done, oh, pff, I have a weird mailbox in the middle of my house here. So I'm just going to move that. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to dive right in and show you guys what I've built in The Sims 4. And I, it's funny because I actually filmed myself building this prior and it was like a hundred years long, so I decided to not post the video of me actually building the school or the classroom and rather just show you what the finished product looks like because I know we hate long videos. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a tour. Now I want to just mention prior that the dimensions on this classroom in The Sims 4 are probably not perfect. In fact, they're probably not right at all. But I did my best, and I'm, and also remember that my final classroom is probably not going to look like this 100%. Like, there's probably going to have to be changes. Um, this is, like, the way I would set it up if I had the space um, and if everything works out the way I'm picturing it. The only thing that I'll say that may not happen is the separate rug space to the rest of the workspace. Um, so basically I think like just the way that the teacher that's in this classroom right now has the classroom set up, it looks like I might be able to set it up this way, but once I get there, it there's a chance that things won't work. Um, and so I'll kind of talk about that as I give you guys the tour of the room. So here is Miss V. This is my sim version of myself. <laughs> I think I did pretty good. I mean, considering it's the sims and things aren't perfect and whatever, like I think I did pretty good. Um, so that's Miss V standing there and I'll just kind of get started by taking you guys across this direction. So one of the main things that I'm so excited about in my new classroom is that I have an entire wall of floor to ceiling top and lower cabinets that are just gonna change my life. Um, I've been living out of a classroom for the last few years and have no, little to no storage at all. So I'm going from no storage at all to a ton of storage, which is gonna kind of change what I bring to this classroom. Um, and I'll kind of explain as I go. So when you walk through the door, I'm gonna kind of set it up as like I have it now with my little like student center. This is where I keep all my student supplies, so like crayons, markers, colored pencils, extra scissors, things like that. Like this is like the supply storage area. And then above it, I have what's called a student center. This is where I would put like the cafeteria menus for the month. I put like technology shortcuts. I put like a picture of my class and I put like different things in the room that need to be stationary all year. So like the the Epic code or like the Google Classroom code, things like that. And there's also a clock right there in the actual classroom. So I figured this would be a good spot to put that um, because it is right by the door when you come in. I'll probably have a pencil sharpener here. Um, also keep in mind that in The Sims 4, you're kind of limited to like the objects that you use in place. I have a lot of custom content in my Sims game. Um, so there are a lot of things that you'll see here that like the regular game wouldn't have, so just keep that in mind too. Um, but I also thought I would put my mirror right here. I don't think this will actually work out. I think that these cabinets are a lot closer to the door than this is giving, but if possible, I would put the mirror right there as they walk in or as they're leaving. 
Um, and then it does rain in Prescott a lot, so I would keep some umbrellas um, and maybe some rain boots kind of tucked over here somewhere. And then there is a filing cabinet, which is a lot taller in real life than this one is, but this, again, this is, you know, I don't have everything. So, um, and then I have four uppers and four lowers and then a countertop and a tall cabinet here. So this is pretty accurate to size. So what I plan on doing is storing, um, if I can, this is kind of where I'm thinking my thought process. I would store like my students' um, notebooks here in crates, possibly. It's either gonna be here or over here on this table is where I would store the crates. And then, oh, something happened here. There's like missing squares, but that's okay. Anyway, and then all of my science materials would be stored in these cabinets. They're not drawers in real life. They're like these, um, but I just put those there because they match. And then in this one, you know, more storage. And then the, the current teacher that's there has it set up like this. There's a trash can. There's actually a gap here, which why not just add more cabinets, but either way, there is a gap of wall here and then there's a sink and then another countertop. So I would probably set it up like this, maybe with my coffee pot here, because I do have my own personal coffee pot. Um, so I put that there. And then what I'm thinking is if I had like unlimited budget, I would put like some faux tile here to make it look like a backsplash. I think that would be really cute and possibly here. Don't know yet, might do some baskets there. Not sure yet. And then this back wall is all painted the same color, but I thought it would be really cute to do like a feature wall with like my brick um, better than paper paper. Um, it probably won't be the whole wall, but I'm thinking like one major bulletin board because there is limited wall space in these classrooms, uh, this classroom particularly, this back wall is really the only wall that doesn't have like a whiteboard or something on it. Um, and right now the teacher that's currently in there has their TV back here. I don't know for sure if I'm going to be able to move that TV, but if I can, I will show you guys where I plan to move it. So then over on this corner, I would have my tiny classroom library because I really only have like two little bookshelves. So I would corner them with a lamp there and then my gray and white striped chair would go here. If you guys know my current classroom setup and the furniture I have that little gray chair would go there as like a cozy spot to sit. I am teaching science and social studies again, so I don't like have like a sustained silent reading time other than like during like our intervention block, they might be able to choose to do that. So um, having this little classroom library will be nice. And then there's a window. I really wanna do some hanging plants like this because my window is gonna be super nice for my plants because I do have some classroom plants um, but I'd like to do a hanging plant maybe either here or in this corner depending on as we travel this way we've got a large whiteboard in the center of the two windows so I thought I would probably put um, my science vocabulary here I like to do like a word wall but it's more of science terms that we discover and use throughout each unit so I would put them here and maybe just some other concept models on this one so that they could be there constantly. They wouldn't be getting erased or anything like that. And then I do have a small group um, whiteboard that I would display here for just other things. It could be like school news, spirit day, like lunch for the day. That would be a cute thing for my um, like class assistant to do, like to change the menu for the day here. And then I have two black Ikea tables in my classroom now that I would move here. Um, I didn't have black ones in the game, so I just put the white ones. And I would maybe use them as like an extra counter space or like a, like a center area. Um, that's why I was thinking maybe I could store my students' like notebooks and binders here um, in the book bins like I usually do or in crates, um, kind of like, um, Josie Bensko does, how she has like the three colored crates and then all their notebooks go in there. Um, I think I would probably do that right here if, um, if it makes sense to do that. And then I have another window and then I thought I would position myself in this corner 
This is the corner that the teacher currently that's in this classroom has their desk. It's set up a little bit differently. Um, so, and depending on like the size of the desk, I might use that desk somewhere else in the room, like maybe like a, a different workspace and put my rising, my falling and rising table uh, right here in my flexi spot because I prefer to use that as my teacher desk rather than that big old honking thing. So I'd probably move that and put it somewhere else in the room. Um, maybe here or maybe along this back wall. Like I could even move these tables back here and put that big desk here like against the wall and then a student could sit there. Or it could be like another counter space for centers or like stations. And then, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I have a whole wall of whiteboards here. Um, there isn't a map, but I think I would hang one there. And then this is supposed to be the TV. So there isn't a TV cart in The Sims, but I did find a rolling whiteboard. So instead of putting like a TV, this is the TV. Okay, so if I can move the TV, I will move it and I will place it right here in front of the two long whiteboards. So this whiteboard covers most of the wall. I would put the TV right here and then that way I can use both sides of the whiteboard for concept models, um, anything of that nature. I can put the schedule here in the corner, the date, the learning target, all the things that we put on our whiteboards. And then I, it would all just be like this one major stationary area. And then vocabulary could go here so that all the kids can see it all the time. And then I, I do have my long white Ikea bench that I thought would be really nice in front of the TV as a place where I can put, because the TVs are interactive, so I can just put some interactive tools here. I can put um, baskets of like teaching sources, like, you know, basic stuff here. Um, and then I would love to do a carpet space so that when I'm doing whole group teaching or like we're watching mystery science videos or like anything that requires like whole group, I would have the kids come up and sit on the carpet and then when it's time to move on and go do investigations or independent work or group work, they would come back to the seven tables in the back of the room. Um, now the reason why I do seven tables like this, now there are seven tables currently in this classroom that I'm going into. Um, I know that for sure, and they said their class sizes are around or under 30. So this is going to be great. This is actually set up for um, 28 students, and then I could throw a couple more here or just tack on a chair on the end, and that would be fine. I'd have multiple groups of four and maybe a couple groups of five. That's kind of like how I have it now. But the reason why I do seven tables is because there are seven continents, and I group my students by continent name. So this would be North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Um, not only are they, like, there's seven of them, but they're also laid out in the room geographically. So it helps them to memorize what the continents are and also where they're located. So I really like that. I've been doing that the last few years, and I just really like that. Um, so if the space gives me the ability to do the carpet and the tables, then I will do so. But if it doesn't, then I'll just spread the tables out a little bit more, but they'll still be placed in this formation. They'll just be more spread out and scooched up a bit. Um, and then I really tried to do like the lights around the whiteboard and stuff. Now, obviously when I get into my classroom, there's gonna be a lot more going on on the walls. But like I mentioned before, there isn't a lot of free wall space for bulletin boards. So this back wall is going to be essential for bulletin board location as long as I can indeed move that TV up here. Um, there's another option of putting the TV here, but I would rather have it like right here. So when you walk in, you're walking right into learning space um, instead of that. So then I would line my kids up right here along the cabinets. That's where they would get in line. And then um, there would be lots of different locations for like stations. I could put a station here. 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 
Um, so there's a ton of space for stations because I do a lot of hands-on, a lot of investigation, a lot of stations or centers of kids moving around. Um, so anyway, I just thought like I would make my classroom in The Sims and just kind of play around with layouts. Um, I'm trying to get her so she faces this direction. There we go. So anyway, I thought it was really fun. If you guys are um, Sims players like me, then you know you could totally do this with your classroom space. Like try to get a layout set in stone or try to mess around with other layouts. The dimensions are kind of icky and make it a challenge, but overall I had a lot of fun building this classroom in The Sims. And I'm getting really, really excited to move all my stuff into this new room. Another thing that's cool about this classroom is that in the hallways, so outside of the classroom, there are backpack hooks all along the outer wall. And then the whole upper area is open for bulletin board space. So I would display my student work out here in the hallway and my students' backpacks would all be hung up right here along the wall. So that is something that's really cool about this school is they keep all the backpacks hung in the hallways for multiple reasons. Like I love this because A, the backpacks are not cluttering the space. Um, they're not in the way. And the kids aren't going to be like going back and forth to get things out of their backpacks. Like they're just, they're out here. So they can't really access them you know what I mean so like this whole wall would be covered with backpacks and then up here would be all bulletin board space so I really like that um, it's going to be lovely for management so anyway I'm really excited so I hope you guys liked this video if you are interested in more sims content please comment down below let me know um, I do play the sims a lot so um, you know, I could play around with making other classroom layouts and, you know, I think it would be really fun. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all the places. I'm also on Twitch. Um, I don't really stream there very often at all, um, but I am there. So go ahead and follow me everywhere and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!